each other up where the direction of his was going and the way his body was moving. Yeah. He stood out there trusting me. He threw it partially too to where it wasn't directly to the sideline. It was more almost up the field. Uh -huh. So, right. you know, I just let the ball guide me and I knew it was man coverage so the safety wasn't on top of me or nothing. It was just me in the corner. So, just being with speed and just took it up the sideline. When you caught it, yes, and it was so. over there. Yeah. yeah, that's great. What are you? What are your eyes watching when you're doing the point after that? I mean, are you? Because uh, high shot or somebody maybe picked up a little bit of a block to he let did. him get outside. Yeah. Do you see that when you're when you're out there or no? Um, on film you obviously can. I try to notice. First thing I notice out of my route when I do look over my shoulder or you know any direction I'm running is obviously what's in front of me first. Sure, you know sure. what I'm saying? Just so I can read the field and the vision, and then I just read my quarterback. Mm -hmm. Kind of just continue on going with his path and kind of what he's thinking. So what's ahead? Not necessarily yes, the rest of the guys worry about their stuff. Yeah, appreciate it. Cool, man. Good stuff. Thank Thanks, you. Man. Have a good week. You too. Coach Cody Nicky was just talking about how uh, you guys got a really competitive room in the he's wide receiver room and just how is, how is that working out for you guys with Trevor stepping up? In these last few weeks. It's iron sharpens iron. You know, we all feed and learn from each other. You know, we notice things in practice that we think within ourselves we can do better or like throughout um, our teammates. Um, so say if one person does something wrong or right, we're going to compliment and uh, direct each other to even do it better. Versatility. It's amazing. Quinn, do you have a, a favorite catch so far from this season? A favorite catch? Um... I'd probably just say the next one, the next one coming really, uh, would probably be my favorite one. Um, but I mean, I'd typically, I guess, say this past recent one is my first touchdown being the season, then my home state would be in a, uh, probably the first one, uh, the scramble route with Bean and C throttle. Did you expect the ball to be delivered that, I mean, that, that's a tough throw for Bean to make yeah. opposite side of the body. Yeah. Yeah. Take me through that play. Okay. Uh, I was told I was told at a very young age to expect the unexpected. So you know, even if you're not first in progression or even second, that third is going to be there. So um, the, uh, the route itself was just a 15 yard sit route, and I noticed man coverage. And so I kept the DB in my trail position, knowing that I still had speed on top of him. So right before, at least like 10 yards, five five yards before, I sped up a little bit and just snapped back down, just so where he passed me a little bit, snapped my eyes around real quick, and I saw Bean scrambling. Saw Bean scrambling and he gave me almost the look to where we both on film actually see his point kind of like going up field and he threw it perfectly to where it was still in field and not to the sideline directly. Let me run under it and I knew the uh, near safety towards me played uh, on top of it. So to where it was just me in the corner one on one with speed and who was going to win at that at the end of the day. What sticks out to you about the OU defense? Uh, the athletic ability. You know, uh, I can know a lot of those guys on there from me being from Oklahoma. So growing up with them and knowing their capabilities uh, on the field, uh, it'll be a great matchup, especially with the corners and the rest of the secondary. Probably one of the best secondaries uh, we'll face this year. Do you have a Halloween costume planned? I mean, Halloween <laughs> costume? No, sir, I do not. I do okay. not. But I will be getting tons of Gradelli chocolates, though, to myself. There you go. <laughs> do, you, do you have a favorite Halloween costume from when you were a kid? Uh, I'd have to go with the Michael Jackson. You know, when I was a little kid, I idolized him and his music and the way he moved and uh, all his dancing. So, yeah, I could definitely go with the little one glove and the suit and the jacket look. When I was younger, my mom's probably got a picture of it somewhere. So do you think if you get a touchdown this weekend, next weekend, something like that, you can moonwalk something? Man, I wish, but, you know, <laughs> no, I cannot do that. I really wish, but no, I can't. You look at the improvement of this OU's defense compared to last year. What's the biggest difference you see on tape? Um, I'll just say the second year that coach um, has been there with them, you know, at the university. And just being able to collectively group that team together and um, on and off the field has built them. Um, and they've stayed, you know, disciplined within their game cells and have rose their um, opportunities to what they're capable of being at the university. With their different schemes, does that affect you much as a receiver, or are you kind of insulated from that? Being you know, you just got to stay within your own game, you know, but you got to be versatile of uh, different capabilities of playing. You know, that's when you got to really lock in with film and um, knowing your personnel, too, you know, and knowing uh, down distance, knowing your um, abilities within that field and what you're capable of and make the best out of any coverage, any uh, player in front of you. You just got to know at the end of the day, you got to win.